It is 20 months since the green paradise of Lox Hill was invaded by diggers, sent to remove the hillside. And a year since some of the animals had decided to stay. But things look very different now. The six precious field maples have gone. Cruelly coppiced to 50 millimetres, along with the whole eastern row of sycamores. The western hedge has been severed, even the ash trees are under threat. With such reduced hedgerow, the swallows will not return. And the songbirds are leaving. Try their luck elsewhere. The quarry gets deeper with looming cliffs. And inevitable landslides. The site is surely much too steep for a housing estate. The southern cliff must be 30 metres high. And you never know where a digger will strike next. The amphibians and reptiles realise this is no longer the place for them. With little vegetation and few insects, the rodents are next to leave. The hedgehogs would have asked for highways through or under the fencing. But the site is too steep and hostile. Their babies cannot climb steps. So they will not be coming here. With all their prey leaving, the raptors have no reason to stay, and neither do the carnivorous mammals. The deer are long gone. The bats are in hibernation. but long-eared and horseshoe bats could still just find their way along the hedges to their resting cave. But for how long? This is now their route. The top hedge suddenly exploded. And was then refilled with earth. And still not a single house. Whatever next. Surely not Duplo blocks? The friends despair and plan to leave. Otto returns to the hills. No animal would want to swim here. Seeing the total destruction of his auntie's house,
badger leaves for his wild wood. Toad sells Toad Hall and moves away. The staunch friends, Ratty and Mole, set off towards Mole's home. Still wondering how such destruction and pointless waste of energy could be allowed. Ratty carries on, hoping to find peace and protection in a new Waterville community.